In a world in crisis, can three idiots find hope in the darkest of places? Will love conquer all, or will hate win out in the end? This is a show called Hate. Welcome to A Show Called Hate, a podcast in which we explore love, hate, and everything in between in search of greater meaning and perhaps a little perspective. I'm John. I'm Nick. It happened again. He did. It, it happened it. again. <laughs> I love how we always do it. Like, yeah. uh, like we don't know. No. Like, it, who, he, might, he might, like, the last minute, he might burst through the door and go, lads, I'm sorry, I'm late. <laughs> It's like um like a kind of um, Victorian séance. Like we're just kind of seeing yeah. who's in the room. In fact, that's something that a lot of people don't know about this podcast. <laughs> is that Chris is a ghost. He's certainly dead to me <laughs> <laughs> now. <laughs> After this latest debacle. Well, I mean, it's been a, it's been a, uh, a string of debacles, hasn't it? Because it's mm. been well. I mean, the elephant in the room. Well, actually, he's not here today. <laughs> elephant in the room is we lost a whole episode. Yeah, so y- from your perspective, dear listener, yeah, uh, you're like, oh, they forgot to do an episode last fortnight. Well, actually, joke's on you. Uh, how dare you be so presumptuous? Because we did record an episode. We recorded a whole fucking episode. Yeah, yeah in a very hot room, It was I really say. hot. Yeah, it, it was, was very warm. It was a great episode, full was, of many jokes. It was actually quite good. It was. Yeah. Um, the you have t- the title here. The title would have been... Ancient giraffes sporting thick helmets. Yeah. Uh, now, with the benefit <laughs> of time, I can't remember exactly what that referred to, but... No. we could. Go, I have a vague memory. We could go into it. Yeah. Uh, or we could leave it as a mystery that will span the ages. Let's, no, let's, let's give them a bit of a hint. The, then, the, the hint... And I can't remember all of it, but the, the, we somehow got into testing the capabilities of Siri on my phone. Yes. Because my phone went off. Ah, that's another yeah. thing. I could have got away with that. Because it was another uh, instance. Of yeah, and obviously, being... obviously your phone's on silent right now, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. He said. Wait, it actually you... wasn't. What are you doing with your hangs? Uh, it's on one percent battery, so it'll probably die before it went off. But anyway, <laughs> will it let you know vocally when when it does die? I'm shutting down. <laughs> In seventy, <laughs> sixty nine. He's a racist. No. no. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah you, uh, we said something and, and, and Siri piped up, piped up for no yeah. real reason other yeah. than wanting to be part of it. Then we tried to make Siri a host. And w- yes, because we were like Siri, tell us something you hate. And yeah, it, and it and Siri was p- not playing ball. I'll give you this was some of the worst parts of the episode. <laughs> so you haven't really missed out that much on that front. Then you said something. I was talking about how in the local news agent, yes, there's yes, not just porn. But, like, weird old porn. Kind of grotty old porn. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and I was talking about how there was a magazine on the top shelf. That's right. Which had a union, like, a, a heart outline. Like, so its logo was, like, mm. a heart outline. and, the, and But but the colour of the heart was a union jack. Yes. And it was called something along the lines of, like, mature Brits or something That's like it. that. Yeah. Yes. Yes, and then you said... <laughs> Siri. Don't, don't, well, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> I've got 1% yeah. left. So. Okay, yeah. Um, but yeah, essentially, my phone, hello, uh, uh, subscribe Nick to Mature Brits. <laughs> and <laughs> and it, then it subscribed me to something. <laughs> and we couldn't work out what it was. <laughs> no, but when I clicked on it, we didn't quite know what it was at first, but there was a headline, and the headline was Ancient Giraffe Sporting Thick Helmets. And that was all we needed, really, to, to be the title of the episode. Very yeah. good, very funny. And that was that, yeah. And then later on, I found out that you, what you'd done is you somehow subscribed me to a podcast about animal history mm. and like, you know, like... animal husbandry. Oh. Hello. I did listen to a few episodes. It was quite steamy. I, um, <laughs> I, had, to, I had to stop. <laughs> I discovered I opened dark windows inside my soul. <laughs> like, I could not look away. Indeed. It was like the abyss. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So, but so that episode, then we finished recording. Ha ha ha, we said. What a great episode it was. We all patted each other on the back. You know, we're naked when we record, obviously. Yeah. So there was so, a lot so of. It was um, very sticky, I can tell yeah, you. Yeah, a lot very of warm in here. getting dressed again, <laughs> yeah. obviously. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Um, and then and then we looked down to see the file had corrupted. Yeah. Well, I pressed, like, stop <laughs> on, the, po- on the podcast episode. machine, which oh, is yeah. generally how it works. And on Chris Ray as well. <laughs> <laughs> that never works. Oh, God. How I wish. <laughs> 
Uh, and uh, yeah, and it basically was like an hour and 46 minutes or something of pure gold. Absolute gold. Press stop. And the machine dies. Like the kind of... Oh, did it like... I, sh- I think off? it shut down at that exact moment. Oh, no. So maybe that's what corrupted it. Then. Yeah, but then I opened it. And it was like, there's nothing there. There was, It was just empty. It's just gone. It's just void. It tried uh, all kind of like uh, retrieval programs, but there was just nothing to retrieve. No. Like it just wasn't there. If there had been a corrupted file, that would yes. be one thing. But you this can, was just an empty folder. You can kind of, there's hopes of restoring it. Mm. It just wasn't there. No. And we were so like kind of shattered by that. And, we were, and the room was so warm. It was very warm. I cannot begin to stress how warm it was. We were like, well, we ain't going back in there. That's not happening. In a way. No. No. I mean, it was a good episode, but it wasn't that good. <laughs> mm. Yeah. But so, then we had the eternal struggle slash argument, which we've just resolved, actually. Though, yeah, just it was quite easy. Yeah. Which was, well, do we say that there's a missing episode and therefore make today's episode one on from that? Mm. Or do we or do we just crack on with the numbering? This is the next episode. Yeah, do we just kind of power through? And we we made the decision to just power through. Yeah. Um, because that episode was never even possible for anyone to listen to like no it's it's not even a phantom episode it's it's it was just three guys in a hot room talking about giraffes it was a relatively funny episode i have to say chris ray was advocating that this episode which he's now no longer no longer a part of uh, (laughs) after the incident he doesn't get a say then would be episode 112 and we would just forever leave a gap Mm. and then i realized that that would upset me yeah i feel deeply like but also that would mean that the number of episodes would no longer be actually referential to how many episodes there are if you see what i mean there wouldn't be 111 because it would always be 111 minus one yeah so no it would never be right never be right and then of course this time you know this this recording session rolls around and we're like we can't disappoint the fans we care so deeply about them yes so deeply and and so cap in hand we knocked on chris ray's like rich mahogany door to Mm. to to his study where he was doing his papers yes and uh and we said um Please, sir. Please, Uncle Ray. Can we record an episode for the fans? <laughs> for the fans. <laughs> oh, he no. bellowed from behind his massive desk, <laughs> and uh, he struck me uh, across across the palm, which a, isn't new, to be fair. Uh, acro- yeah, with a um, oh, what do uh, what do um, rich people uh, hit their horses with? Oh, coins, <laughs> coins. <laughs> one really big coin <laughs> he struck me across the face with a uh, a kind of bond yes. uh, yeah yeah <laughs> um a bond from the 1300s uh which was just maturing mm. and he said that's uh, not more and he said i i i, I care not yes. for the fans he didn't even his chair was turned away and he was facing into like his semicircular window that looks mm. out onto his grounds mm. um <laughs> And there was just loads of, you know, like young sort of slaves just running around getting him apples and the things he wants from his from his ground, you know. Um, and he didn't even turn around, which is fine because he yeah. does he doesn't have to face us, like or, or the fans for that matter. He just, you know, he does his papers yeah. and he watches his grounds. And uh, and yeah, and uh, you know, I thanked him for the mm. the, the injury. And the only yeah. reason I didn't get hit was because yeah. I was groveling. Because he says so every time, I always say, he says, so make wise, sure you grovel yeah. when you come in. I'll yeah. know. He, even though he never turns around his chair, he says, I'll know. And he does know, doesn't he? He does Because know, then he spun yeah. around and he hit you with a bond and he missed me because I was groveling. <laughs> <laughs> but the imprint the bond left on my kind of young, tykish yeah. cheek. I can still see it now. I know. Well, it's, actually, it's actually been quite beneficial because I... I uh, I rolled my face on a on a piece of like mud, oh. and it left an imprint. And we've been able to forge nearly a whole bond. Yeah, now, which is um... one whole bond <laughs> just for you. <laughs> yeah. And <laughs> uh, when when we when we finish that, we may actually be able to eat. Yeah. Finally. Well. Yeah. I mean, you don't really deserve to eat. He no. Uh, Chris Ray will make sure you 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 don't. But... No. No. Um, so the point is, um, he had more important things to be doing. Certainly more important than the fans. Uh, so I mean, that goes without saying. Yeah, yeah, it's just it's evidently more important than the fans. <laughs> and uh, and uh, yeah, and we and we couldn't we couldn't lure him in. But we were like, no, no, we've we've already let them down once. We yeah, the, like it cannot be two two. What is it? Four nights? I don't know. I don't yeah. know how often we. What's do that this. like? A month? Yeah, I don't know. It can't be yeah. a month before they get their juice. Yes, they need it. They and, do. And it's like okay, one data point. That's. You know, that's random. Mm. Two data points. That's a line. That's a line. 
Yeah. But a third one, that would be a trend. Yeah. So, yeah. So, well, okay, it's a weird analogy, but what, what I'm saying is it wasn't going to happen twice. Yeah, yeah, what are you saying? I don't know what I'm saying. No, it wasn't going to happen <laughs> twice. That was very important. That's very important yeah. to, to me and to you and not to Chris Ray at mm. all. Yeah. So we're here. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because we care. Well, yes. well, yeah. We care enough to be in a room. Mm hmm. And we care about audio quality, which is why we're in this beautiful padded room. That Boiling. We're However, egg. the concession we're making is we have opened the window and we have opened the door, which is not mm. something we normally do. No, because we're afraid of, of the foley of the world. Yes. Uh, intruding on our sacred boy time. <laughs> so if you hear um, Berg song, mm -hmm. dogs barking, dog song, uh, an illicit drug deal. It happens sometimes, it doesn't does, it? It does happen, yeah. yeah. Um, it's pretty cool. It's because it's so hot. Yeah. I can't adequately describe how warm it has been. And still is, actually. Now, last his last session where we were recording in the heat, mm. and then we had the tragedy of losing it. Yeah. We obviously left the room to kind of commiserate and weep and breathe. Yeah. <laughs> <you know? God. laughs> and I'd go back into the room. Oh, unlucky. And of course, it was warm enough in the moment. And then you go back in and what they don't prepare you for is the smell. <laughs> like, <laughs> it was quite pronounced. Really? Yes. I'm not surprised. And you and I, we had to go to London last we, Friday. We did, yes. Uh, for reasons. Yes, secrets. Which we can't talk about at the moment. Not, no, maybe in the future day. Very exciting. Yeah. Uh, and we uh, did a bit of trainage, but also a bit of driving. Mm. And I, when uh, we got home to Cheltenham, mm. where we live... And I dropped you off. You came back into this room again. Well, <laughs> that is, that is no. still <laughs> after a week had gone by. <laughs> no. I, I I I drove home. I parked on the driveway, opened the car, peeled myself off the chair, uh, opened the door, came back to the car, and oh. then the smell hit me. And yeah. the car has stunk for like a week really? or so. Following, it was a yeah. lot of boy soup. In that You're car. not selling us as. Uh, an attractive proposition generally on this podcast. No, but the joy of an or, or joy of an audio medium is uh, they can't smell us. Yeah, so, yeah. Well, it might be pushing it. Like, <laughs> sort of, what's that weird static? Yeah, that's the musk. The mic is picking up the smell. Yeah. yeah. Why is that mic scan bending? Oh, I think it's wilting. <laughs> anyway, but we're here. Yes, that's here what matters. Yeah. So, uh, do you ever hate? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. This is nice. How about that? Um, how thank about, you. Thank how about you. them apples? Thank you, Nicholas. That's, that's, right. very, uh, that's very kind of you. Mm, and I to, know. And uh, to open, I'd like to discuss the economy. Uh oh. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, I hate science shows. Okay. That heavy air quote just yeah. blow shit up. Uh, okay. Yep. Yep. Do you get what I'm saying? Yep. It's yeah. not science because you can light a fuse and detonate a <laughs> uh, cathode ray TV. Like. <laughs> That's that's just blowing shit up. Well, it's like there's um uh, there's a lot of YouTube channels mm. which are like um there's some there's a lot of YouTube channels which are like very like proper science. Mm. There's some channels I watch and it's like and it's so high end. I've got no idea what they're talking about because <laughs> it's really like high end kind of stuff. Yeah, but I feel barely like, hanging on. I feel like I'm kind of almost learning something. Yeah. along the way, at, at the very least, you're learning what your limits are. <laughs> Yes, no, that's that's a good way of putting it. Yeah, uh, and then there are also channels called like uh, I don't know, um, Science Fart. Yeah, and it's like today we're going to ask the big questions, like what happens if you put a firework inside a frozen chicken? <laughs> uh, 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 like and subscribe. Yeah, I mean, I can guess. I'll probably watch a frozen chicken smashed a bit with some colourful Roman candles. Yeah. Like, I think I can imagine what that would look like. I don't know whether I need to click on that particular thumbnail, but it'll be a guy, I can picture it already, it'll be a guy who looks a bit like a goon, yeah. like he doesn't look like, and no scientist ever looks like this This man. No. It, it'll be a white man, let's be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And he'll be going, <laughs> and he'll have his mouth, his slack jawed, like, wow. Whoa. And he'll be in a lab coat. Yes. And that's the that's as much science as enters into this whole endeavour. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a... Uh... You know, I uh, I touched the most painful planet uh, plant on the planet yeah. for science, and it's a ten minute video. Yeah, and 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 then they'll they'll be like that little <laughs> intro. He goes, the so and so so and so hails from Central Africa. Yeah, and it's described as being akin to a gunshot on your skin <laughs> every second for up to thirty years, because that's as long as the poison lives in your epidermis. Uh, it actually doesn't leave your body yeah. for thirty years. And then the extent of the science in the video 
is like reading the Wikipedia page, basically. Yeah. I'm just going to tell and you. And it'll be him and his science bros, and they'll be gathered around the computer, and yeah. they'll all be laughing. <laughs> no, I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. No, you, what? You're going to yeah. do it? You're going to do it? And they, ha- and they just have this plant. Yeah, in like is, a glass vial. Which is very clearly trying to tell you it's, that it that it hates you. Yeah, it's red and yellow stripes. Yeah, and, <laughs> and it's, it's like... pulsing. <laughs> it, it's triangular, and there's an exclamation mark on it. And that's actually the origin of the exclamation mark. It came from this plant. <laughs> <laughs> it's and like the, we think we came up with that but we didn't yeah. we got it from this plant and they say like and the only treatment is, and, they, and apparently the only known treatment is to pour hydrochloric acid on your skin yeah which the, I know sounds bad but believe me yeah the only way to relieve the pain is to kill your skin yeah. it's the only way that or amputation yeah. and some people have described themselves as being in a living hell for the next three decades because that's as long as it takes for the poison to leave your body <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Oh, we're gonna do it, yeah, guys, cut, guys. To, cut to like him and the plant, and like, oh, 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 oh. and then just like grabs the stem, Grab. and then perfectly cut scream, just, Wah! and then it's just gone. And then the next cut is just like him, maybe in like an ambulance, yeah, like with covered the hand, in boils, <laughs> covered in boils. <laughs> and then it, yeah, but hand, guys, it's just as bad as it said on yeah, Wikipedia. It's, it's actually, <sighs> oh, it's like sweating. Oh, oh it's oh. kind of worse. Yeah, and yeah. then um, it's filmed like the Blair Witch at this point. Like, the yeah. camera's all over the place. And then it's like, and then you know, final shot. It's him back in his garden, but it's clearly like two weeks later. Yeah. And he's got like stubble, and like his hand is just completely like in plaster of Paris. Yeah, <laughs> and you can see like some of the skin around the bicep is grey. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> it's like, was it worth it? Yeah, like and subscribe. Yeah, and uh, it's like, what have we learned? Yeah. We've learned that you're an idiot. We've learned absolutely nothing. We've... Less than nothing, it could be said. Yeah. I mean, I wasn't going to touch that plant anyway. There's another breed of them, which is like, we made, like, the world... Like, we we made a machine mm. to hit a baseball. Yeah, like, at the... six trillion miles an hour. Yeah. <laughs> and it's like, well, okay. okay. I mean, it's not... It's not like science. No. No, really, is it? No, like, not really. It's like, yeah, it's, it's akin to those ones where it's like, we filled a paddling pool. No, a swimming pool with ball bearings. And then we jumped in. <laughs> you know, and well, Gareth yeah. lost a leg. Cause, yeah, because like, cause, 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 no, no, that's classic. Cause it, it is like, um, <laughs> it is like, it's like, um, yeah, we filled a swimming pool with jelly. Yeah. Can you swim in? Can you run all across it? And then there's a really badly photoshopped thumbnail, which is like clearly like a tidal wave colored red. Yeah. And oh like, my God. Yes. Yeah. Yes. I feel like you're describing an actual yeah. video now. Yeah. A- and then, and then of course, like they, you fill up, you fill a, a, a swimming pool with jelly and, and then you jump in and we go, whoa, it's really sticky. Yeah. And you, he just stops dead up to his neck in yeah. jelly. Yeah. But the logical extension is like, you know, as you say, it's like. We filled a we filled a swimming pool with anti car tax, <laughs> as utilised by the police. Can you swim in it? Oh my god! I said, no. We filled a swimming pool with horseshoes. <laughs> it's incredibly <laughs> painful. Don't jump in. <laughs> spike it, and they look ball bearings, just like steel, <laughs> steel ball bearings. Oh man, yeah. But I think what's frustrating is it would be one thing if it was just the Goon Channel, and they just do stupid stuff. And there are those, right? And I hate them as much. Um, but then there's the ones that masquerade as masquerade as science. Yeah. And and that's when it's like, n- no, are they actually trying to get some of the viewership of people who are looking for edutainment stuff, mm. or are, do people think that they're going to be smarter? By clicking on what is masquerading as a science channel and watching a, a baseball get propelled at six thousand miles an hour, yeah, and they're like, "That's science." I wish, I wish school was more like this. <laughs> but it's also there's 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 like um there's there's it's weird, isn't it? There's the ones which like ostensibly act like they're teaching you something, mm. and then there's the ones that just kind of drop the pretense altogether. Yeah, but it's called like science bros. Yeah, and particularly if it's like American and like there's a bit more red- science bastards. Yeah, and if there's <laughs> more ready access to guns. Oh. Guns like a big aspect cool. is I shot a microwave. Yeah. What or, happened? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Or uh you know, I, I shot like a six thousand dollar camera at point blank. Jeez, like I mean, like what you know, what does the so, footage look like? It's so you know? wasteful as well. Like yeah. maybe we can all hope that it's a junk, crappy old microwave or a crappy old yeah. camera that's broken. We can hope. But I worryingly, I bet it isn't. Yeah. Because I bet I bet the video starts and they're like again, filmed like really handy cam, like we're in like curries. Well, they wouldn't be in Curry's in America, but you know what I mean. We're in Curry's. We're going to get a brand new digital SLR Canon D60. Hey! Yeah. And we're going to shoot it with an air rifle. What have we... What have we learned? What are you doing? Yeah. 
The um, please go away. At least like something like the slow mo guys. The slow mo guys. We've been doing this like for like forever. Yeah, they they are a bit to blame because they do wear lab coats. Yes, but that, that is true. But they don't really pretend. Like they do call themselves the slow mo guys. Yes, it's like at, they know not, what they're doing. At least they're just catering to stoners who are up at two a.m. Yeah, who want to see what a, what a I don't know water balloon looks like when yeah. you pop it in slow mo. Yeah, we fed a vinyl record. We fed a, uh, a vinyl of uh, the Eagles' greatest hits into a uh, a paper shredder. Yeah, I guess what happened? Guess it's what like, I mean, in slow motion. Yeah, can I, I, can, I can guess. Can I guess destroyed? <laughs> yeah, it's funny that. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. Do you remember um, back in the days when people cared about regular television? Mm, yeah. There was a TV days. show in the UK called Brainiac. Yes. This yeah. this was actually probably partly to blame. Yes. For exactly what you're talking about. Because Brainiac masqueraded as a science show. And I suppose to some extent... I mean... This is the pro- as te- technically everything is about science. Because science is just about the world. Well, and if you do a thing in the world... And that's the connection to science I think Brainiac yeah. felt it had. <laughs> well, yeah, it, I get it. It's like science is, particularly to a young audience, boring. Mm. Quote, unquote. Yeah. You know, oh, it's boring. Science I don't like this. boring. So how do we make it... How do we jazz it intre- up? Yeah, how do, we, how do we jazz it up? Mm. And, particularly, and if you're British, that means like, well, let's put in not only some explosions, but also like bogeys and farts and stuff <laughs> yeah and they'll just come up with questions like how many farts does it take to fill a hot air balloon or something? i remember on brainiac one of the experiments they yeah did, and i say that so loosely was what is the best food to cure a hangover science science experiment yeah and it's like well the problem is is that they had a group of like 10 people and and then they got them all drunk and that's already a problem so they i think they all drank the same amount but everyone's got different tolerances or, yeah. you know, drinks alcohol in different ways or whatever. So that's already a massive problem. And then they would have all had a different kind of hangover. Plus, they're all different sizes and genders and everything. They're just all different people. Yeah. And then some of them had like a fry up and some of them had like a glass of water and some of them had like a painkiller. And I was just like, what? Even as a kid, I was like, this is bullshit. <laughs> this is absolute <laughs> bullshit. I, like, was, if I was writing my evaluation. Yeah. <laughs> Even as a six-year-old nursing my G&T, I was like, this is, this is wrong. Swilling my brandy yeah. by the fireplace. No, 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 no. no, 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 no. I remember... It's, it, it... Also, I don't believe anything I see on TV. No. Either. Like, the joke was, oh, they all had loads of beers and they had a night out. Yeah. But of course it was filmed. Yes. And I know what filming TV is like. Yeah. Your, your pennies, every second of television yeah. is a... You know... So they probably didn't get drunk at all. No, they didn't put up like 10 people in... In a, in a premiere inn. No. So and we, then they didn't buy six pints for every single person yeah. in that. They just they just filmed enough to make to sell us on the idea that they had a party and got drunk. Yeah. We don't need... We don't know. I can't see when I watch a man on television whether he's drunk or not. I can't see that. No. It's almost like they weren't really following like a rigorous <laughs> scientific method. It's a bit like that. Yeah. yeah. It annoys me. To this day, it annoys me. Because it's like, you know, sometimes, like, what was it like the Sherlock Holmes thing where he said, like, I can't learn new things because it will push old <laughs> memories out of my head. Mm. I have a piece of... I watched one episode of Brainiac where I actually felt like, not that I learned something, but something got into my brain. Oh, and I feel I've forgotten something valid. It's pushed something else out. Yeah. Because every time I I take my shirt off in the evening, I remember a segment where they tried to test whether the fluff in your belly button comes from... Your shirt or your underpants? Like, where's is it go? Is the fluff going up or is the fluff going down? Right. Okay. Science. And their scientific their scientific experiment just bit myself. That's quite impressive. Oh. A scientific experiment <laughs> was to wear like a red t shirt and then like blue trousers and blue and blue. Check the color under- of fluff. Yeah. And it turns out it's your shirt. Well, I could have guessed that. That rubs against your belly button. Yeah, it's, it's funny that, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, it's weird, isn't it? But now every time I look down and go, oh, a little bit of fluff on my belly button, I go. Brainiac taught me that. And I'm like, no. Damn it. No. Well, I didn't... taught you something. It's anti-knowledge. I didn't learn anything. Yeah, it's because it doesn't matter. You don't need to... <laughs> <laughs> you, don't... you don't need to know that, And but it's in your brain. And that means it's if there's a finite amount of space in your yeah. brain, and let's be honest, there definitely is, because yeah. I can't remember most of me from zero to 17. I can't remember any of that. Yeah. Like, nothing. Yeah. So that's gone. 
Um, so there's definitely finite, finite space in, in storage space in my brain. And that means that fact, and you've told me. Yeah, now I've spread so it. Thanks. Yeah, yeah. Um, that now that now occupies a space. You can't, a, a you can't, re- you can't remember your nephew's name now, can you? <laughs> Gorgon. <laughs> Gorgon. <laughs> it's, it's like that. It's like yeah. Gorgon. Gorgon. Yeah, it's probably yeah. Gorgon. The, um, I, I, I remember like, I'm thinking back to it's like. Gringone. Gringone, yeah. yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> thinking back to like uh secondary school chemistry did you ever ha- do the thermite reaction yes yeah yeah uh, and we were told that this is how they connect train tracks together yes and yeah. i and i and there was a point in my life where i was genuinely like i would like to work on the railways because this because you this, get to play with thermite yeah because you yeah. get to play with thermite yeah it's very cool but it's also like chemistry is it, particularly of all the sciences you're going to do has, is very like technical and there's a lot of boring equations you have to learn oh uh, yeah so they've got to jazz it up occasionally to make uh, it to yeah. make it interesting and get so, the fume covered out get the fume covered out do, do the old thermite get a magnesium fuse you get a big yeah, old explosion big white it light. looks great yeah and then get of course, a little blob of metal at the end and it's wonderful get a big blob of metal it's wonderful yeah and it. then of course like you get hello hi everyone i'm youtube <laughs> And they go like, and you'll have like, you could Google it, countless videos. And they always call it, always call it the unstoppable thermite reaction. Oh. The unstoppable thermite reaction. What's unstoppable about it? Because um, it does stop. It does actually. Yeah, it yeah. ends. When, when there's a... Well, ultimately, I think what you're describing is it's just like um, the death of language, really. Like yeah, words, yeah, yeah. Words see. just don't really mean anything anymore. No, not since the internet. No. Which is cool. But, um, but, but the extent of the thermite content you can mm. generate on YouTube is basically go like, it's wild. Thermite versus a uh, a Volkswagen. What? So they just do the thermite reaction on top of a Volkswagen and yeah. see if it burns through it? Yeah. Which it probably does. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. As you kind of said earlier, which is actually very profound, it yeah. just doesn't matter. There's a form of um, thinking that says that any avenue of discovery is worth pursuing. Yeah. Like, who knows what we could learn? Y- yeah, I suppose. But yeah. like... Yeah, but, it, like, but. <laughs> what, what would happen if I took a kitchen knife to a Volkswagen Polo? You'd probably stab a, a Volkswagen Polo. Yeah. Like, that's not a, that's not one of the greatest questions. You know, if there was that question and there's what at the, what's at the edge of the solar system, we yeah. genuinely don't know, I'd probably pick the latter, you know? Yeah. I took a belt sander <laughs> to a 2006 Honda Accord. <laughs> Who, what's going to happen? <laughs> I took a belt sander to the country dance as my date. <laughs> What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> and it's like... <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, it's, you we, know, did, did the world really need to know? Like, I packed this banana with, um, uh, <laughs> I don't know, potassium manganese, you know. Yeah. And, like, and then I set fire to it. Yeah. And, and it sort of didn't really do anything. But at the same time, but you haven't seen it before. Yeah. Ah. I, uh... <laughs> yeah. Or, or um... Yeah, I uh, I poured molten aluminium onto my lawnmower. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I poured molten aluminium onto a watermelon. Yes. Uh, okay. Yeah, it probably just sort of goes into it and makes a hole th- through it, right? Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's like, like yeah. Yeah. I cut a plastic bottle full of water with a samurai sword. It's the same thing. It's just the same thing over and over again. Have you heard of a? Um, oh, it's called something like a. a prince edward's drop or something like that oh is that the really really thick liquid oh uh well it's like with three c's (laughs) (laughs) it's like a glass droplet have you seen no i think i'm thinking of something else i'm thinking of a thick oil that drops only once every 100 years oh that yeah yeah. 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 that's kind of cool that is kind of cool yeah but no this is a um it's like if you're uh glass blowing or making making glass yeah (laughs) occasionally Didn't mean to put you on blast then. Oh wow! Okay. <laughs> Occasionally, mm. uh, like a big, uh, like a drop of liquid a glass, gollop. a gollop of liquid <laughs> glass will will fall, mm. and it hardens as it falls. Okay, and oh, then so, it shatters. Well, here's the thing: it just kind of solidifies. So you only, you weren't intending to, but you've just made like a perfect glass. Oh, a sort of droplet. Kind yes, of. Yeah, yeah, it looks yeah. like a droplet. So it's kind of thick at one end. Mm. It looks a bit like a child's drawing of a ra- of a, a raindrop. Yes, or and then a, it tapers into a long. Yeah, line. yeah, yeah, into a long spindly thing. Mm. But those are just, like, of course, like every glass blower in the world is like, I have work to do. I don't give a fuck. The floor's literally. Yeah, yeah. But then someone with a lot of time on their hands was like, Oh no, no, wait! I'm going to call this like a, a Prince Edward's drop for or something some like that. 
And they are endlessly fascinating to scientists. Really? Air quotes on YouTube. Oh, scientists. Yeah, not quotes. actual scientists. No. Back, backdoor scientists. Yeah, guys with lab coats. Yeah, who are like, because they just break in weird ways. Right. That's about it. Like, I've never seen any of this content. No, it's really weird. Like, <laughs> it's, it's quite hard. I think it's like if you hit it end on, like on the thick end, like nothing happens. It's really tough. Right. I'm getting this wrong, but I think the sure. idea is that. But if you like... Hit it in a different way. It, the whole thing just shatters, like uh. instantly. And people are like, oh my God, the weird unexplained mysteries of the Prince <laughs> Edward's drop. But it's like, well, well no, actually. It's no. just a, a weird piece of glass. There's nothing to learn from it. No. And and also like the weird mysteries of what in terms of like it breaks funny yeah it's it's, it's not like it's, yeah. it's not keeping me up at night no especially and and now arguably there's something to learn everywhere okay. we can always learn the universe is here to teach us but uh, like yeah I I I'd argue that there is actually nothing to learn mm. particularly when you're like hey everyone thanks for joining me in the latest video in my prince edward's drop series this is uh episode 19 today i'm gonna How be uh hitting it with a claw hammer let's see what happens i have already hit it with a, a like a, a kind of regular hammer yeah and also a mallet <laughs> uh but ne today's a claw hammer today's claw hammer because i've only just managed to buy a claw hammer and uh the hardware and uh slow slow-mo let's do slow-mo on my phone and there you go it breaks yeah uh, it broke in a kind of new way. Mm. No, there was a crack uh, in the in the bell end, as I like to call it. Which what they didn't the previous ones didn't crack there. No, no. So that's no. really cool. Yeah, yeah. And uh... anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I've got new merch out now, which is just it just says "crack in the bell end" um, <laughs> across a hoodie <laughs> and "crack in the bell end" across a uh, cap as mm. well. They're really, really cool designs. Uh, if you support me, you support the channel. Uh, if you buy these, so yeah. please for buy. science, you know. Let's uh... yeah. Let's uplift every every American uh, school child. <laughs> yeah. Let's make them smarter. Wear these to school. Wear these to your science class. Mm. 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 Science. So there we go. That's my that's my hate. I agree with you. It's garbage. It's gar. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I said it like that. I don't know why I glitched out. <laughs> garbage. It's a bit, well, it's a good way of making content, and ultimately that's all that matters. Yeah, it really is all that matters. Mm. Yeah. Well, my um my hate plays into con content. Oh, and and I do fear that increasingly this uh, podcast is becoming a bunch of old granddads complaining about the internet because <laughs> because that is where, to be honest, I don't get out very much. No. So my exposure to the world is kind of through YouTube, and I hate ninety percent of what I watch. Yes. So I yeah, yeah. I, I I feel you because mm. I I do try to I realize that what I said about like I hate science but it's just blowing stuff up actually turned into I hate. 90 percent of, of youtube of, of youtube yeah um, and yet still we go back yeah still we go back to youtube well mine's tiktok um which is basically just youtube it's just fast youtube as yeah. we've discussed before so it's exactly <laughs> it's, it's literally the same ecosystem in, in yeah. basically yeah. every single way except that everything's shorter which is potentially much worse yeah so you can watch 10 times as much <laughs> <laughs> and it's all 10 times as worse than in a way anyway um, there is a new uh, thing that this one company and maybe some other companies are really trying to push, which is virtual clothes, question mark, virtual clothes. And the ads pop up on my TikTok from time to time. And here's the funny thing about my TikTok. It doesn't know who or what I am. <laughs> it hasn't learned any advertising algorithm. So I will get pregnancy test ads mm. followed by Google Pixel 6, which I'm sure I've talked about on this. Which I, well, I will who, never buy that. Phone. Who hasn't gotten an advert? For I a will Google. never buy that mm. phone. Um, and then, yeah, and then it will be like a, a toy. Like maybe ma TikTok's like, maybe he's a child. I don't, I don't know. <laughs> his, his algorithm's all over the place. <laughs> he's got so much time on his hands. And yet he doesn't like adult things. <laughs> <sighs> and then suddenly it's virtual clothes. And, and the way virtual clothes works is you film yourself. And then much like a filter, like a, like a, um, like a TikTok filter or yeah, something. Yeah. It'll track your body and face in real time. Sure. And then overlay onto your body. Uh, a clothing item, yes, virtually, right. and it will attempt to How mimic and copy your. How movement. well does it do? This? Badly, badly, bad really badly, really quite badly. Um, yeah. so badly that they had to put a uh, a little alert on their page <laughs> to say these aren't in. Bear, bear in mind, you buy these, yeah, with right. real money, with real actual You're human. You're not money. playing it with tick box. No, I don't. Know. <laughs> I don't know whether that exists, but it will soon. Yes. Yeah. Um, you buy these. And then it says you do do not use these uh, with video, because the technology isn't really quite there yet with video. These are intended for stills. These are intended for you to put on your Instagram. I thought the disclaimer was like, 
we can't stress enough these are virtual clothes. <laughs> do not leave the house. Well, you in, say that. In, oh, no. There's another alert that says, do not wear nothing underneath our clothes. Because, of course, they glitch out, right? They vanish sometimes. Or they just, you move to the right and they sort of stay where they were and then it catches up with you. So if you were naked underneath your virtual clothes, and bear in mind some of these virtual clothes are completely transparent as well, right? Then you would just be bearing all to the world. Yes. Uh, so in order to cover their backs, I suppose, because some people might be stupid enough to think that they could just, like, wander out of the house. I don't know. They've said, make sure you always are wearing clothes under our virtual clothes. Mm. Right. Which you've paid for with real money. Which you've paid for with real money. Now, you might be thinking, mm. John, uh, hey, it's a virtual clothing item. I can't wear it to, to the shops. I can't wear it to Iceland. Yeah. Where where mums go to get their frozen food. I can't wear it there. So it's probably going when to... When mums battle Kerry Katona for <laughs> frozen bargains. Yeah. yeah, she's really hard to defeat. Um, can't wear it to any of those places. Plus, they've got no overheads with regards to manufacturing these clothes. So I'm, I bet what you're thinking is, and I bet you are thinking oh, yeah. these will be cheaper than regular clothes. I mean, gosh... You'd, you'd, in this economy no no no, no they're not wow. in, in any case in, in many cases they're more expensive than, mm. than regular clothes and then they have this big sort of spiel on their on their account and on their site that's like clothes are really bad for the environment the manufacture of clothes and fast fashion is destroying the world due to the co2 imprint oh. and but look at with us way oh. less oh. i think my bones just atrophied <laughs> But the, the irony is <laughs> that you still have to wear <laughs> ordinary clothes underneath them. So what are you selling exactly? <sighs> what? Uh... I mean, there's times when I feel old, but there's also times where I, it's actually quite challenging when you, you, you actually just for a moment kind of lose the will to live. There are times like... when you feel old and then there are times when you feel better. Mm. than everyone else mm. because people are buying these well at least i think they are i see these videos of people i suppose you only need to see like five loud people mm. to think something's going on here but they've got a website i mean i've got a website so well, I've got... they'll, they'll let anyone have a website i have two websites oh, oh three oh, arguably, here's so yeah well, i've got more than one actually as well so yeah. anyway let's not get to him how many websites we have all right yeah yeah i've got three three Okay, and good. We've got, and we've got big punches out. So. Well, I'm including big punches that. Fuck. Oh, God. <laughs> oh. oh, no, I've got another one. Oh, oh four. Sake. Yeah, three. So yeah. Many websites. Okay, anyway. Um, that aside. Yeah, so. Um, the, there's this. Uh, <laughs> I, how, don't know, I don't know what more to say. How do you feel about, like, in something like Second Life? Yeah, okay. Uh, which is still relevant today. Oh, for sure. Well, I'm sure people are still playing. You go, this is who I am. Yes. I'm Nick Angel. I wear Gap. Yeah. Oh, I see. Like, real brands in a virtual space. Gap is my clothing. It's my brand. It's who I am. Gap is me. When people think of Nick Angel, they think of Gap. They probably already do. Yeah. That. Yeah. So when I go into Second Life, when I log on to hang out with my posse, <clears throat> you know. My Digipos. Yeah. With uh, with my boys mm -hmm. and my elves and my sentient flying boats. Yes. I mean, I don't think it's... That's also a character model. Yeah, yeah, fine. Right, yeah. Um, <laughs> I want to buy... Virtual gap. Yeah. So how do you feel about going into Second Life and paying for a virtual, like, avatar of a real-world piece of clothing? How do you feel about that? So, I don't feel as bad about it. Mm. Here's why. Twofold. Here's why. One, as far as I understand, clothes in Second Life are cheaper than real clothes. One would hope. Uh, I don't know that for certain. God willing. But I have a feeling that's true. Sure. Secondly, if you spend a decent amount of time in Second Life, the only way you can enjoy Second Life is by having a little character who runs around, little little cyber Nick. Yeah, little person. Uh, and I want him to look as cool as he can. Yes. Because obviously, I'm pretty cool in real life. I kind of want pretty, Cybernix. Pretty cool in real life. Yeah, yeah let's get some yeah. of that energy into the, yeah. into the cyberspace. Get some high top sneakers. Get some high yeah. tops, get some jorts. Yeah, a puffer jacket. Uh, wearing jorts right now. Yeah, yeah, puffer jacket. Don't have to worry about the heat. You can always wear a puffer jacket. Mm. Don't sweat in Second Life. That's a fact. That's true, yeah. Yeah. Um, certain royals will probably be really happy about that. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> hey oh. <laughs> Topical. That's what you Whoa, come to this podcast yeah. for. Um, uh, so, like, I'd be happy to make my avatar with a with a small cost. I'd probably pay yeah. four pound fifty for this. Oh, four pound fifty. Yeah. yeah, for a cool outfit. If I was spending most of my evenings hanging out with my Digipos in in the Cyberlands of Second Life, mm. this mm. is worse because at least my avatar, little little Cybernick, yes, yeah, Cybernick, yeah. he is wearing those digital clothes. I suppose. Yeah. If I turn them off, he is now naked, and your cyber schlong is there yeah. to be seen because mm. i presume all cyber 
the Second Life characters have those. The cyber schlong, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, but I'm never wearing the virtual clothes on TikTok. I'm never, I'm never no. wearing them. You make a point of being naked on TikTok. <laughs> I, I, I remember that vividly. Yeah. 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 It's why I keep getting my accounts closed. Yeah. I've got so many at this point. Lots mm. of burner accounts. Uh, just in case. Sure. I guess your point you're saying is why, why pay for two mm. sets of clothing? Yes. Is your point. That is kind of my point. And then on top of that, I can't even make a video of me wearing these clothes because because that's not what it's for. No, you can sit very still. I saw one and this was on one of their ads, right? So this is actually what they're putting out to advertise this product. And it was a woman um, wearing a, what looked like a virtual evening gown, complete with up to the elbow gloves oh kind of like breakfast at tiffany's yes exactly yeah, that yeah, exact yeah. look right yeah. but the problem is is that it kind of the dress kind of worked all right so when her hands or arms came in front of her body they would mask out and they would cover over the the dress which is quite impressive sure right? and obviously the neckline and it covered up her clothes underneath and everything but hands fingers arms they're quite hard to track very hard and to this track, model yeah. was moving her she was dancing to a to a hit ch chart topper sure right and so our arms were all over the place and the gloves were just nowhere near. In fact, at one point, I think a glove span around, did a complete 360, right? And this is in their ad. This is in their ad for the product. Product, he said in inverted commas. Okay. And it's like the gloves just spinning like a windmill next to her, kind of next to her <laughs> arm. And, she, and she's like, hey, get these virtual clothes. It's like, that's not even close to being a clothe. <laughs> oh, a clothe, okay? That's not even close. A singular clothe. Yeah. It's garbage. Yeah. So, like, on top of that, it's like, so it's bad. It costs the same amount of money as clothes, but you have to wear clothes for it to work. Yes. And on top of that, they claim this eco message, but you have to wear clothes still, which might be fast fashion, which might be, you know, eco damaging clothes. D yeah. It's just, it, all around. Like, every, and plus, on top of that, it looks bad. Yeah. And then the only point of it is for photos, which when you take a photo of yourself and apply, like, this sweet hoodie that you've bought for $50 or whatever... And then someone goes, oh, that's a cool hoodie. And you're like, yeah, it doesn't exist, though. But if It's they, not real. If they are of comparable price to real-life clothing, if you had that money... Why wouldn't you go buy a nice hoodie for yourself? Yeah, because now you have a hoodie with which you could take many photos. And a video. And a video. You could do a video. And it would keep you warm. Yeah. 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 That's another thing. Now, some of these clothes do impossible things, ah. which clothes can't do. I think more of them should be this. I still don't think this in any way warrants the purchase of these products. Sure. But one of them is they're called waterfall jeans. And they look like jeans, so they overlay onto your legs sure. quite quite badly, obviously. Yeah. And then where the pockets are at the front, there's just two columns of water just pouring out. Like as though to, uh, as though you left two fire hoses on in your pockets and water was just squirting out of your thighs in an arc onto the ground and making a puddle on the floor. Waterfall jeans. This is what every depiction of, like, the future and virtual reality never gets right. People are like, oh, in the dark future of 2047, it's going to be, like, you know, cyberpunk. And... Yeah, Blade Runner. But it's like, uh, but what you picture, what, what, what we picture now is, like, just imagine, it's like two avatars meeting a virtual bar, and there's neon everywhere, and they're just kind of, like, pulsing with, like, cool... What that, what that will actually be, Yeah, you'll be trying to chat to an avatar that looks like, um, I don't know, the hardware aisle in Wilkinson's. <laughs> and another sentient flying boat. Yeah. And that'll be the two people meeting in a bar. You know? Yeah. And yeah, one of them has got a handbag that looks like Thomas the Tank Engine's face. And, and the other one has like, I don't know, <laughs> like curtains. Yeah. Just, just curtains everywhere. Yeah. And it, it, it's just, it, <laughs> I just say what I see at this point. Like, the, the, it's never going to be as cool as, as Blade no. Runner because the problem. It's going to look like a goddamn mess. Yeah. Because yeah. that's what Second Life looks like. Mm. And, and this is the problem with when you, in a virtual world, when you give humanity the ability to have whatever Complete they freedom. want. Complete freedom. It's, it's awful. Yeah. True, true democracy will be the end of the world. Yeah. There's a, <laughs> there's a view, there's a view of like, um, Virtual reality of the internet as being like the ultimate palette is going to be pure human expression, mm. pure creativity. And yet it turns out that if you give 99.999% of humanity the, the chance to look like whatever they want to look like. Oh, it's going to be so bad. It's going to be awful. Yeah. It's like that That was that meta video when, when uh, what's his yes. job on Facebook tried to yeah. sell us all on the idea of what the future of the internet is going to be. Yeah. And at one point he does that, he goes to a virtual hangout and he's got all his mates and they're playing like cards around a table. 
And you see, which is the first work of fiction, because we all know that he doesn't have any friends. He does not. Have any yeah. friends, no. And they're all kind of different avatars. One of them kind of looks like a me from like um, uh, Nintendo. Uh, Nintendo, yeah, yeah. Yeah, you know, Nintendo. And one of them looks like a big sort of rusty robot that's kind of a bit goofy and a bit cartoony. And then one of them's like a dog that's floating in a spacesuit or something. You know? Sure. And it's all like, oh, it's all, it's all so tame. Cut to reality. One, one is just a penis. One of them is just a penis. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And then, and then one of them is a for sale sign. You know, uh, but it's but it says you know like two story, uh, three bedroom house sold. One is gonna and that's them, and and the, and the other person is like an endlessly looping, like gif, like yes. a, like an animation playing out, and it's, it's Shrek, yes, humping like a really <laughs> racist caricature, yeah, and just like endlessly humping, yeah. I think something about like Hillary and emails like under it, yeah, that'll just be endlessly looping, yeah. yeah. And then the last one's just like a skeleton, but he's got like a bone penis. Yeah. And that's it. And you've got these four And every characters. bone in his body is a penis. It's a penis. Well. It's a penis yeah. as well. And bear in mind the first one was just a big yeah. penis. And this is your par- this is your school PTA meeting. <laughs> this isn't even like your Yeah, one of those is your teacher. Yeah, this isn't even like your Call of Duty guild. This no, no, is no. just like yeah, this is No, this is your parents going to parents' evening yeah. to talk to your teacher. That's me trying to meta into uh my uh, local council meeting because mm-hmm. I'm worried about the state of the roads. Uh, yes. Yeah. yeah. One of those is is your councillor, yeah. your, your local representative. One of them's you. Yeah. Um, and the and the other two are uh, high high council yeah. members. My MP is in that chat, and he's a volcano which is spewing <laughs> penises, and <laughs> and he's really big. Yeah. Like because because obviously volcanoes are yeah. quite big, so he's quite far away. Yeah. Yeah, and he has like a megaphone. But his entire character model moves with the speed and uh, ex- like uh, kind of r- rapidity of a human of a model. Human man. But yeah. he's a volcano-sized volcano, so it's just this god awful thing. It like, glitches a lot, and in yeah. fact, if anything, because he's so close to the camera, because he's is as close as the other characters yeah. are, he's just filled the camera completely with just brown rock. And his character model is constantly playing like a, a low-quality MIDI mm. of "Welcome to the Jungle." Yes, like that's just always coming across like the audio chat. Yeah, like, yeah. And then, and then, and then, on the far right, there is a fairly normal-looking human person who looks exactly like a councillor. But the only thing is, they're wearing waterfall jeans. Yeah. And and you're like, ah, and they're not a councillor. <laughs> got those from Dressex on TikTok, and they're like, yeah, 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 yeah big time. They're yeah. a bot. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yes, I did. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> well, I love to sex. That is the future. That That's, is why we can't yeah. have nice things. That's that is why Meta and this virtual internet will never fucking happen. Because it will be so visually overstimulating yeah. that we will, as a race, we will die. We'll yeah. die out as a race. It will be, yeah, it will be like opening a pack of M&Ms. Like, it's, like putting your eye socket mm. over the open bag. That's what it will look like. Yeah. It will just look like utter colour and chaos. Yes. And, and the thing is, is that like, you look at something like, I don't know, Fortnite. Right, mm. and all the characters—they're so colourful and they're so diverse and they're so cartoony. But they're all kind of drawn in the same style. Yeah. So even when you've got a guy in a banana suit, and then you've got like Boba Fett, and then you've got Spider Man, yeah. they all kind of stand next to each other quite well because they kind of—they're kind of in keeping. Mm. And then you think about all the me's on on the Wii or the Wii U or whatever. Yeah. And it's all like, yeah, you can create your own custom you on on me. <laughs> That's confusing. Um, but they're all kind of the same style, and they kind of when you, when they all gather together to play bowling, they all kind of look the same. And then look at Second Life, and it's like hell. It's like actual yes. hell. That's what it will be like. I I watched a really interesting video about I can't remember what it's called, but it's basically metaverse. Mm. It already exists. Yeah, but it's like a not for profit kind oh. of like uh, really like grungy, like a, a bit indie, a bit chaotic, a bit anarchic kind of like VR thing. Sounds bad. Well. It was actually really interesting. Like uh, oh, okay. the, the guys went, uh, they they went into the world. They interviewed people, fully VR. Wow! And they talked to people, and it was very cool and very open and very okay. kind of free. But they're saying like it's everything that Meta won't be. Yeah. And also like it will just be Meta will crush this. It will come for it. Well, because and... Meta will have all the money. Yeah, it will eat it and it will destroy it. Yeah. But the interesting thing was that like with all of like pure creativity, you could be whatever you want. It's like. 90% of people were, their avatar was like an anime girl. Really? Yeah. Like, like it just, they talk to everyone. Now that's a worrying, you know, because people believe that simulation theory might be a thing, right? Mm. That, we're, that we right now are in a simulation. Yeah. And arguably that, that that came about because of society trending towards creating virtual worlds that we yeah. then immerse ourselves into. So <laughs> the fact that 90% of people in this particular virtual world are going for anime girls does that mean that that's what reality is trending towards that we're going to have yeah. a reality where everyone just looks actually like that's that's what 
that's the optimum form that humans want to look like. They yeah. want to look like anime girls. Well, it, well it's interesting because they talk, they talk to people who are like, uh, saw it as a form of gender expression. Mm -hmm. They talk to people who are like, you know, this is how I, this is how I identify other people. You know, we're like, this is how, look, I'm working some stuff out. I'm exploring. And the thing is, like, for yeah. that reason, power cool. to them. And yeah. then, but, but then also, it's like, you know, on top of that, there were people who are just like, yeah, I'm just, you know, just like playing as an anime girl. Yeah. You know, and it's just like, you know, with all of creativity. This is, yeah, you yeah. can be anything. Yeah. You can be a volcano. And then someone also was like with a jort. Someone was also a centaur. Okay. Which is like, okay, if that's your, if that's your jam, go for it. But also, yeah. like, how does that work in VR space? Yeah, do you have to watch out for your back end? Do you have to have a big prosthetic ass? Yeah, or, or are you at the back, virtually, mm. and you can see your torso? Now, that would be grim, wouldn't it? <laughs> if you're like, you know, I'm finally, I can live out my dream of being a centaur, and you're just the ass. <laughs> you're bent over the whole time. Yeah. You're just seeing the floor. Great. You've got yeah. another eye view. Yeah. Ah, yeah. yeah. See? Um, I don't like centaurs. That could no, be a hate for the future. That could be so many hates, actually. I just don't. I don't like them. I feel we could fill like a whole second century of episodes just about centaurs. <laughs> we could do a special about centaurs and everything yeah. that's wrong and horrid about. We could them. do like at least fifty episodes about um, Pierce Brosnan's role as a centaur yeah. in uh, Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief. I looked that up again the other day. Mm. The image of Pierce Bronholm as oh. as a centaur. Yeah. And he just goes on and on and on. Like he just, it's like Pierce Brosnan, but he doesn't ever end. No, he's like, like a, a long hairy snake. It's like a tube. It's like a tube of Brosnan. Yeah. I don't <laughs> like a tube of Brosnan. I don't like a tube of Brosnan. I don't like centaurs, Nick. I'm just no. putting it out there. There's, there's nothing good about a centaur, really. There's, they're just, I just, ah, oh, they, ah. They, oh. They've got too many limbs. Yeah. They don't make any sense. I don't understand, like, where where would the peen go? Yeah. You know? Where does the... The bum hole is obviously right at the back. Human... It's, yeah. But also, like, the horse in its torso, in its body, yeah. has got, like, all its organs and stuff. Yeah. But then you've got a human torso on top of that. So is there loads of organs in well, there as well? Because a horse has got, like, every bone a human has. Yeah. They're just in different shapes. And yeah. Different we don't get are. many kind of, like, six-limbed mammals. Are there any? No. There we go. Just not a thing. Just no, yeah. there's none. There are on Pandora though, so suck that. Are they mammals? Probably. Yeah. No, because everything on Pandora is six has limbs. Six limbs. Except apart from the beautiful cat people. I don't like that. No. Because it was like, hey, we've had this radical idea. What if the evolution of this planetoid yeah. took a completely different direction? Why not? And everything somehow made it six limbs work. Yeah. Because let's be honest, everything on planet Earth has four limbs and then yeah. seven insects, obviously. And that works. Yeah. So maybe there's some evolutionary theory behind the idea that they'll all have the same number of limbs. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's really cool. That's really cool. What about the main sexy characters, though? They can't have mm. six limbs. What if they had two tiny vestigial limbs on their nips? No, that's no good because no. that's really not sexy at all. No, it's just not. Can we just do away with the six things for the for the human characters? Yeah, I think that's good. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Right, go to print. That frees up a lot of a lot of um a lot of money. And a lot of bonus time. <laughs> for the uh, fuckable lips. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, at least we're getting another Avatar movie, though. Finally, thank God. Yeah. Just when the world really needed it, really yeah. needed it. We come out of a pandemic. What do we? What's our reward? Avatar two. Isn't what? like Avatar one like thirteen years old? Was it like two thousand and nine or something weird like oh that? Oh my God. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is. And as good as the graphics are, the story is still as relevant now as it was. I would argue the story is the most important part of it. Yeah. It's, it's really touching, actually. It's yeah, really well, powerful. You know, yeah. I for one am very intrigued to know. What happened to Jake Sully? Yes, Jake Sully is arguably one of the greatest characters of cinema. Yes, in, in modern cinema. And and who could forget, um, his um friend? Yes, who probably Ch Chungli piloted. <laughs> oh, a ship. Oh, Rodriguez, Michelle yes. Rodriguez, is, uh, infamously and well remembered character. Yeah. of Penelope. Uh, uh, Probably. It's probably. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and of course, his love interests. Oh, yeah. Um, Navi? Yeah, just call it. Yeah, she's probably yeah. named after the species. Yeah, probably. <laughs> That's great. Yeah. Yeah, they're called the Navi, but she's also called yeah. Navi, uh, which, you know. Damn it. I realized I should. I was I, I could probably make a whole other episode. My hate is the, uh, uh, the interactive avatar rigs. Mm. at uh certain we were theme watching parks. videos yeah. weren't we on youtube the other day it yeah. bothers me i don't get why they've got one film that came out 300 years ago yes and we've got rides we've got a whole section of a theme park dedicated to this world yes. um and it seems to be whenever anyone talks about like ooh, 
fantasy worlds, world building, science fiction. It's like Avatar, probably one of the best. It's like, is yeah. it? Is it though? It's just, it's just sexy blue cat. I like, I liked Avatar. Fine, it was fine. It was fine. But there's nothing like, and wrong I'll probably, with I'll it. probably watch the new one because I'm like that. I've yeah, got a new world card. John. Yeah, I could just go. I can just go at any time. It's your kind of like optimism that is keeping it's my boundless optimism it's, it's that keeps keep, this podcast keeping afloat. cinemas alive. Yeah, <laughs> and this podcast. I heard James Cameron is is now threatening us with four movies. Oh, I thought you meant our podcast specifically. Yeah, well, <laughs> now <laughs> there are going to be four movies, each themed around a different element. Oh, that's really cool. Yeah. yeah. So the first one was obviously grass. The element uh, of <laughs> air. Oh, was it? Well, I don't know. They kind of flew. They flew a bit, I guess. Okay. Yeah. yeah fine. That's air. And I guess this one, this new one is well, it's definitely water because it's called Way of Water. Water. Yeah. yeah. And I, I guess we've obviously got like. Earth. Uh, uh, Earth and fire. Yeah, fire's gonna be interesting. If I would actually watch two hours of Jake Sully screaming on <laughs> while burning. Yeah, because I mean, of, of all, the, all the Navi, I don't think they'd cope well in a, in a volcano. No. Or well, I their bones know. are made of carbon fiber. Yeah, I don't know if you remember that. No, I. The no, rich I, law. Yes. Of, yeah. Yeah. The, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They're also like nine foot tall. Do you remember that, Nick? Yeah, I remember they were big. Yeah, which is kind of weird Weirdly because, big. <laughs> because when it's nothing but Na'vi on screen... You can't tell. You get no frame of reference. And then suddenly you see yeah. a tiny little human, and yeah. it's like, oh, oh! That's weird. And then there's a bit where where Jake Sully is in human form, and his lover, yes. Na'vi, as as you were rightly to say her name is, uh, is cradling him yes. in her arms, and that was weird. Yeah, because I think a, that birthed some fetishes all he's around a, the globe. Because he's like, a, like a, a toy person at that point. Yeah, he's yeah. like a little like Ken doll yeah. to her. And the and the thing they don't really talk about is the the um the Navi mating ritual. Yeah, no, I think people talk about that. where they open, <laughs> you know, because he's like, oh great, yeah, I'm abandoning my human body. I'm going to be a Navi for permanently because I because I love Navi. Um, you know, my my love interest. I and, love the love interest of the film, and uh, I can't wait to start my life with her as a Navi. Mm. Let's have children. Oh, I, I'm going to inflate my my love sack now. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> I love bladder. Uh, what you know? Um, uh, I, I I didn't know about I didn't know about the love bladder. You better run, dear. My periodontals are rising. Oh no! You know? I, no, can I undo the process? No, it's permanent. You no, have bonded it, with the sacred life tree. This is happening now, yeah. and you are now you are now an RV. Now inflate your recipient bladder. I should warn you. I do need a, a ready supply of cellulose for the next seventy three hours. I should now prepare yourself for my love barb. <laughs> They're coming. <laughs> No one, no, um, no, no one signed up me up for this. I didn't know. No, I didn't know this was how it. I thought it was just the ponytail thing. Yeah, I didn't know. No, yeah. Uh, can I? Can I <laughs> go back? Can I go is back that, to? Is that possible? Like I know he didn't have legs. Yeah, I kind of like. I, I think I'd rather actually be uh, paralyzed. <laughs> yeah. Uh, than than have the barbs. Oh, yeah, they're, they're the barbs. Coming. The barbs yeah. are here. Is that what? What's that smell? <laughs> yeah. Oh, 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 that's part of it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's part of wow, it. Wow, this is uh, two moons, you say. Two moons of two. this. Wow, mm, yeah. Four films, huh? Yeah. <laughs> it's going to be a lot of this. A wow. Lot of, a lot of this. <laughs> um, you, you raised an interesting point. We've managed to go so off topic. Yeah, what way, were we talking but, about? Yeah. I don't know. Um, kids. Mm. They're going to have... Is this new film going to yes. be about Jake Sully's kids? There is a child in the trailer. Oh, a Na'vi child. A human child. Oh, a human There child. is a human child. Well, they the wouldn't trailer. have a human child. No, though. but there's a human child wearing a gas mask. Uh, running around. Okay. Well, maybe they'll get a Na'vi body. Maybe well. they'll get a Na'vi body. Hopefully they do. Yeah. Um, winding this all the way back, though. Please do, to what you uh, were talking about. Virtual clothes. Virtual yeah. clothes. Yeah. Bottom line is, um, I don't like it. Could you buy a virtual Na'vi skin? Which would just kind of like oh, float probably. above your body. Yeah, yeah, float really out of sync with you and, and everything you are. But just to, just as a, a massive full stop to this whole thing, and please. I know you're going to really like this. Please, it's yeah, really yeah. round the hate off. Really Thank nicely. you. Yeah, please, yeah. The the company's called Dress X. Dress X, um, not yeah. a sponsor. Um, and when you go on their website, they uh, they also sell NFTs. <laughs> That's cool. So what a big surprise. <sighs> That's cool. That's really yeah. you know because they like selling things that don't exist. I, mean, I the thing is like why wouldn't you know, at this, at this point, point, why wouldn't a legitimate business mm. get mm. behind NFTs? Mm. I mean, like, why? Mm. There's just no reason not to, really. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Can you wear your NFT? No, the NFTs are pictures of virtual people wearing the virtual clothes. Interesting. Yeah. Stills. Skills. St stills of, of that. Yeah. They kind of look like a bad Dreamcast sprite from, like, I don't know, Shinmu, <laughs> wearing, like, a cool hoodie. 
Interesting. And you yeah. can buy that hoodie virtually to wear. Yeah, well, again, why wouldn't you? Again, why wouldn't you? Because you could look you? like your NFT then. Yeah, you can look like anything. And how cool would that be? Like, you could have an NFT of a, what looks like, a, I don't know, early 2000s Dreamcast character wearing a hoodie. You could hold that on a little screen, I guess. And then in the in the image... You take a picture of yourself holding that little NFT, and you're wearing the same hoodie as him. Mm. And then you and then you post that on Instagram, and you go, "Hey, hey guys, I just spent fifty dollars on this virtual hoodie, and I spent two hundred and eighty thousand dollars on this NFT of a virtual boy mm. that looks a bit like me, wearing the same hoodie as as me." Um, like and subscribe. I uh, I paid uh, two point one scumbucks. <laughs> Uh, which which equates to nearly thirteen thousand US dollars. Yes, it on, does. Uh, on on this, on crypt crypto. Mm. Mm. Of course, of course, they sell NFTs. Why wouldn't you? Of course, it just makes sense. Yeah. So, I've got to love. Good. Let's get us out of here. I Pull love. Up. <laughs> I love the summer. No, that's not true. <laughs> I love overdosing on hay fever pills. Oh, do you actually? Well. <laughs> I mean, like, legally and medically, yes. We have to say, that just for the podcast, we have to say, don't do that. Well, I don't suppose not. No. Things, no. I we have to legally say no. that. No. But I guess, yeah. I but guess, also, it's really fun. Yeah. Because I used to get, because hay fever is delightful. I've never known anyone suffer as badly for hay fever as you. Thank you. Uh, <laughs> that feels like a kind of badge of honour. Sure, okay. Yeah. yeah. Take it as that. It's... Uh, awful. Mm -hmm. And people go like, oh, uh, so what, you like sneeze a bit, get like uh, some kind of watery eyes. I'm like, no, 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 no. no. It hurts. Yeah. Like like, like my, you're in pain. Like it's it's like an actual kind of like needle yeah. in your face. Like it, it's horrible. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, uh, and so um, for, for many years now, I've been getting uh, a, a pill mm -hmm. uh, from the doctor on prescription. Sweet pills from the doctor. Sweet pills from the doctor on prescription. Uh, because uh, what you get over the counter just for regular just pills, well, not doing it. No. Just not cutting it. That's fair enough. So I had to get a prescription for these, like, better pills. Yeah. And then this summer, for the first time ever, those pills have gone out of being... Oh, I, don't, I don't want even the technical term Like for Viagra, it. available to buy. Yeah, you just get that. Yeah. You just buy Viagra now. Yeah, and it's like, um, if, you if you go to, like, a fancy, <laughs> waitro uh, a fancy supermarket, like Waitrose, yeah. it's actually just self-serve. Like yeah. next to the dry pasta, you can just kind of like get. Is it get, like a, you're get, doing like a crank, like a, like a Mr. Whippy kind of machine? Yeah, is but it like that. Yeah, but it's like Viagra and it's blue. Oh yeah, right, yeah, v Viagra Whippy. Yeah, just chow down on a blue ice cream and then mm. you'll have a bone of a day. But no, so um, this magic pill, yeah, which is like the closest I've come to getting any relief. Okay, it's not perfect, but it's better than nothing. Mm -hmm. uh, just uh, you just you just buy it over counter. Wow, what a world! And of course, what that means is. Can't get it. Oh, Sold out, isn't it? Shit. Everywhere. Shit. Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Because they gave it to the muggles. We can't get it. Can't get it anywhere. We can't now. have nice things. And so uh, I... I bet you can buy an NFT version of it. Uh, I bet you can. Yeah. Yeah. A single that. fexophenidine pill <laughs> just rosacing on a iPad 2. Yes. And they put that on the wall. Yeah. Mm. So um, my point is that, like, even when I'm getting the good stuff, Ooh. it's not working. No. Like, I mean, like, you know, I'm like, okay, one pill a day, they say. It's not cutting it. Ain't no way. Well, I'm desperate. I'm going to take a second. Yeah. Eh, maybe I'll take a third. You know, haven't died yet. Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's possible. Well, actually, no. Legally, I should say, I don't think it's possible to... I think anything will kill you in enough... In enough quantity. Quantity, yeah. yeah. So I had to go to... Again, I was desperate yesterday because I'd run out. I had to go... I had to take a pill in the night. <gasps> because, the night. again, you'd think being indoors with the windows locked... You were in the, locked. Yeah. <laughs> Specifically. In the, yeah, they're coming, coming through the door. <laughs> The call's yeah. coming from inside the house. Yeah, <laughs> the pollen is inside the house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so yeah, you'd think being uh, kind of locked inside a sweltering house with every air hole kind of plugged, mm. but like the pollen couldn't possibly get in you. No way that's getting in. But no, it's cool. I'll just wake up at 2 a.m. like unable to breathe. The needles in your face. That's fine. Yeah. That's fine. Yeah, you I know. mean, that's just how it is. So I had to take my last pill, my last Rolo. I had to take that <laughs> at like 2 a.m. <laughs> yeah, last Rolo. And... Uh, and that's great. Yeah. So then, this is your last of the good, the stuff. last of the good stuff. And I'm starting the day. And great. I'm like, and that was, I have to say that that last pack I had was the display pack oh, that the pharmacy gave me. Interesting. Right. So, so they're probably placebos. So I go back <laughs> and I'm like, hey, uh, I kind of really need. I'm jonesing for a fix. Like yeah, I really yeah. need the good stuff. And Come like, on, give, give, give me here. I'm like, we don't have any. Ugh. And you're like, well, what have you got? 
what what do I do? Uh, where do I go? Well, yeah. nobody has any. It's all just gone. You just can't get hold of it. Yikes. And I was like, okay, well, give me a 30 pack of the shit that doesn't work then. <laughs> and and um, Does it not work at all? doesn't do shit. I wouldn't have bought it. Well, I know. I was so yeah, desperate. I guess, yeah. And I'm, so, I'm such a slave to capitalism. <laughs> I felt I had to buy something. <laughs> just to take the edge I off. Have to come out with something. Yeah. yeah. And But I was kind of munching those, like, Tic Tacs yeah. throughout the day. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. I think I got, like, a mild relief. Oh, okay. Well, if you had, like, 68 of them, yeah. maybe it works, yeah. But again, even when I'm on the good stuff, I, have to, I feel like I have to take, like, two. Yikes. You know? Yeah. And last night, I was like, okay, maybe even I'm pushing it a bit. I'm not going to take too much no and then at like 8 p.m last night my left eyeball just decided to go bright red i was just kind of um oh. uh from hay fever or from overdosing i uh, know from hay fever hey, oh, okay. it was just burning <laughs> yeah, yeah. And I was no, like, that's cool I was like, this is cool i'm just sitting on my sofa yeah. all the windows and doors are shut don't know why i did that locked uh i guess uh i guess i'm gonna have another pill yeah why not Chug yeah. i'm gonna have another pill and close my eyes for 15 minutes oh okay finally the burning's gone down that's <laughs> great that's fine <laughs> so th you you present this to me as a love yeah. So is this an ironic love? Oh, you decide. Okay. Yeah. No, that's cool. No, just listen to how happy I am. Yeah, you sound happy. You look happy. Yeah. I wondered whether everything about the scenario is obviously bad. Yeah, it kind of sounds... Yeah. It, yeah, but yeah. maybe you love the idea of, you know, we all want to overdose on something. Yeah. But obviously it's generally frowned upon slash deadly. Yeah. But you love that you kind of get to overdose on this. No, I just listen. Yeah, it's great. I mean, just listen to like the yeah. words no. and facts yeah. and emotions and all... decide for yourself. I think this is all a positive. Yeah, it's pretty clear. I There's think. nothing bad about this. No, I think I, no, no, no. I think it's pretty clear how you yeah. think. I think. I think the listeners will know. I own an air purifier. Yeah. Yeah. Don't turn it on. No, no, <laughs> no. I mean, I, I, I will, you know, think like, gosh, it's hot. Wouldn't it be nice to have a window open? No. Can't do that. No. My long suffering wife, I'm like, yeah. she's gasping for air. Yeah. You know, it's like, no, she's no. on the floor. <laughs> Let's just lock the door. I'm just going to lock the door, turn the air, air purifier on. I do like the, the idea of locking the door, like shutting the door. Yeah. Definitely keep the pollen out. Don't take it. Yeah. Yeah. No chance of pollen getting in now. Yeah. It's great. It's really cool. Yeah. I love everything about this. Yeah. No, cool. Because, I mean, it's quite hot summer. Yeah, it's uh, really I cool. might go for a few walks. Yeah, maybe. gosh, it's nice to I get might, outside, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's lovely. I might yeah. go for a walk in a forest yeah. or maybe a, a field. Yeah. I might run my hands through the through the wheat. Oh, yeah, I, I might Theresa May it for a day. Look at this know? beautiful rose. I'm going to pick that up. I'm going to pick that up. Oh, I'm just going to jam it. My nose. Oh, Bam. Oh, straight oh, into this flower. Oh, went a bit close there. Got a bit of, Ooh. oh, got a bit of pollen there. Got a bit. Oh, yeah, oh no, actually, my nose is yellow encrusted. Yeah. With little pollen beads. Mm. I'll just give that a snort. Ooh. Mm. can smell that pollen going straight up, straight into my tubes. Straight in. It's great. And then filtered in my lung uh, holes. Mm. Uh, I'm having a great time. And I'm an asthmatic. <laughs> The weird thing is, like, I think this might be a consequence of taking, like, a lot of antihistamine. Sure. Is that it kind of feels like, the best way I can describe it is, you feel a bit like a kind of squeezed out tea bag. Right. Yeah. Okay. That's kind of what your face feels like. After you've taken too many pills. I feel it's either like a consequence of just being assaulted by pollen. Or it's all the, all the antihistamines. You feel a bit kind of like drying, mm. squeezed out, like yeah, in your head. Yeah, you know head. we've had uh, A Day in the Sun. And maybe you've been in the sea as well. Mm. And so your face is slightly burned. So it goes a bit, and then it, and then it gets very dry. And all yeah. the salt is like, all the sea salt is dried. And your face feels like it's like a scrunchy. Like it's going. Yeah. Arr. Yeah. 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 I, I think I imagine you're feeling. The only other way of describing it would be like, you've eaten like two bags of salt and vinegar crisps. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. you've just got that slight kind of like. I'm, yeah, sort of caving in. Like, my yeah. face is like caving in. I feel abraded. Mm. Like everything's just kind of like slightly burnt yes, inside. Yes, yes. Yeah, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. It's great. You I, sound very happy. I love everything about it. Mm -hmm. It's lovely. Cool. And the irony is, today, <laughs> it's been relatively good. Oh. Could not okay. tell you why. We did go out today. We yeah. Went, we went into town. I know. I could not tell you why or mm. what's different. It, it's it's like, almost more annoying. It's like, uh, what's great about it is, <laughs> it's just like uh, completely random. <laughs> and you don't know if you're going to die or be absolutely fine. Yeah, cool. And it's great. It's yeah, just, it's great. Yeah, it's just nice. Like, sort of, sometimes in life, you just got to spin that wheel, haven't you? <laughs> you know, never really know what's going to come out. Uh, it's wonderful. Yeah. Oh, cool. Well, I've got a love. Yeah, cool. Um, I'm actually, I'm actually quite happy about this. Genuine one. love. Genuine yeah, love. Yeah. yeah. Not that mine wasn't. Uh, no, no, of no, not. no, of course no. Not, no. I love a prank that is so stupid and so tame and that hurts no one in in any way at all. Ooh, and, wholesome pranks. Yeah. yeah. And, and like, this barely qualifies as a prank. Right. But I saw this one 
Again, it's on the internet because I don't go out of the house, right? No, we don't do anything. No, I saw a video no. of, of funny memes, I think it was. And there was, this, there was this one that was this prank these kids did. And what they did <laughs> is they, they went on a Google image search and they found a picture of Kim Jong-il or Kim Jong-un. Uh, one of those. Uh, you know, yeah, one of them. One of them. Yeah. And they photoshopped his face out and they put John Cena's face <laughs> into his face. So you've got John Cena's face with Kim Jong-un's hair and clothes. Sure, right? yeah. And they printed that out. <laughs> That A A4 sure. size, and then they framed it <laughs> in a little A4 frame. And then before their teacher came into the classroom, they went up a step ladder and they adhered it <laughs> to the wall <laughs> above the whiteboard, really high up, right by the ceiling. <laughs> this little little smiling picture of John Cena's face on Kim Jong Un's body <laughs> and hair, and then and then they just glued it to the wall. Yeah, and then they just and then they just sat back. And filmed, <laughs> uh, and the teacher just had no idea and didn't notice it for, for days. Yeah, brilliant, absolutely brilliant. That... I was wetting myself just looking at this funny little face <laughs> staring out, and there was loads of stuff on the wall. You know, they got the times tables up there. They've got like you know map of the world. They've got the whiteboard covered in maths equations and everything. And then there's just in the middle, right at the top, there's this little face, <laughs> and I don't know why it was John Cena. <laughs> Oh, Kim Jong Un's body. I don't know why. He's just doing a little smile. Just pink, and it's framed. It's framed really well. <laughs> it's just like, yes, this is what we're going to glue to the wall. Oh my God. It's excellent. It's so good. It's so, it's so perfect. And it's just like, if that, t one day the teacher will notice that. And I don't know how long it will take before the teacher does. Because the video just showed the teacher writing on the whiteboard. And then the camera gradually zoomed in. And there it was <laughs> at the top. Like, the teacher hadn't noticed yet, I presume. Um, even if they did, I don't know how to get it down. <laughs> And it's just like one day the teacher will see that and they won't be angry. They'll just they'll probably laugh. Because they'll be like, what am I looking at? Why is that there? And no one knows. There's no answer. Kids are mental. Yeah. Completely mental. That is it's, it's that perfect kind of like clever stupid. Yeah. It's really dumb. Yeah. It's really dumb. But it that's doesn't like, make any sense. But it's also like, oh my god. And they had to put some work in. Yeah. As well. They had bit of Photoshop, yeah. bit of printing, bit of framing. Jesus. Bit of glue. <laughs> It's in excellent. the at the end of the day, you get out what you put in. Yeah, that's the thing. Yeah, and they are going to have video content for days. Mm. They're going to be able to film every day. They, the teacher says something funny. They'll film, and then they'll just film past the teacher's shoulder and zoom in gradually. Up, and there, and there he is, smiling out of that frame. I do feel like I don't think I'd ever get bored of that. No, I think that would entertain me. Yeah, for a very long time. I'm, I'm, yeah. Oh my god, I I've to... just remembered really weirdly that um, uh, I remember some boys. <laughs> In our, in our, we had an art teacher who was quite an old man. Yeah. He's a bit doddery, bless him. Uh, he's a lovely guy, but he just wasn't really aware of what was going on around him. And someone photocopied this really round, chubby little face of a little boy from an art book. Because there was a photocopy in the art room. Sure, yeah. And they opened it on it as this photographer. And he'd taken this close-up picture of this chubby little five-year-old boy's face. Yeah. And he just, he printed that off the photocopier, black and white. Sure. Cut a perfect circle around this little chubby face. Put some double-sided tape on it and stuck it on the teacher's <laughs> back. And he just had this little chubby boy face on the back of his back for ages. For like, for like the whole day. <laughs> the whole lesson. <laughs> And then eventually he noticed it, and he just blamed a random kid in our class, uh, who he just blamed everything on. It wasn't him. He had, yeah. He had nothing to do with it, but he got blamed for it anyway. Um, it was great. Just a little chubby face on his back. Yeah. If I, if someone stuck a little chubby face to my back, I'd probably just laugh at that. It's very funny. Mm. It's, just, it's not as funny as John Cena photoshopped onto Kim Jong Un. I, yeah, because <laughs> that's uh, that is above. That's you've gone above a bit further. Yeah. And to frame it, someone had to buy or bring in a frame. That's what I love about it. Yeah. Yeah. It's like a little frame. It's picture. the dedication to the bit. It's so much funnier than if they just blue tacked a printout. That's not funny. Something about it being in a frame. It's like it's legitimate. It's like it's it's like it's important. It's like it needs to be displayed. Like the world needs to see this properly. Yeah. You know. And it's it's actually funny. It's actually funny you mentioned like the fact that it was framed because I do feel that's quite an important part. I think of it. it is because okay, like bear with me. It's like if you take a photo of like uh, a hot dog, like a sausage. Mm. If you take a photo of a sausage and you stick that to someone's wall, it's like ah. you're going to think like, oh, that's funny. Someone's cooking. but sausage on the wall. But the context of seeing like a, f a framed picture <laughs> of a sausage, 
there's something that, way funnier that about makes it, framing mm, something very stupid. Because that implies care. Yeah. That implies that somebody was like, I have to preserve this perfect, beautiful photo. Yeah, but there's work as well. Like, you had to yeah. print it the right size. Mm. You had to cut it out. You had to open the frame. You had to put it in the frame. You had to close the frame. Yeah. Then you had to hang it on the wall. There's so much more to it than just a throwaway idea of sticking a hot dog sausage to a wall with yeah. some blue tack. There's care. Mm. And the care is what makes it funny. And I love it. I absolutely love it. Oh, that is delightful. It makes me want to find that image because maybe it's a meme or something. Yeah. I don't know because I'm too old. I don't know it's this stuff. But I kind of want to find that image and I want to frame it. Mm. And then I want to put it up somewhere in our house. You want to experience that moment. And yeah. I just want to know if I w- one day Ali will be like, why is this here? <laughs> It's like um, (laughs) the people who do, like, reverse uh, thefts on, like, galleries. Uh, The people who... They put up pictures. Yeah, they sneak in, like, weird photos and stuff. That, again, it's a perfect example of this kind of prank. You're not hurting. No. You're not hurting anybody. Yeah, that's very funny. And, of course, they'll they'll claim, the people who own the gallery, it's like, oh, you're devaluing all the art around by just... No. 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 What you don't get is that this is very funny. And and that... And that everything in the world belongs to everyone. And we all have the right oh. to put stupid pictures up on the wall if we want to. Yeah, I, there was, oh God, it's, it's coming back. I don't know the full context, but I do remember hearing about some people who pranked a gallery, not by sneaking in fake pictures, but by sneaking in fake plaques, explaining oh. them. Changing the definition. It's so oh, good. You know, like, just like, it's so subtle. Like, yeah. Perfectly... Did they stick it over the plaques yeah. of the actual? Yeah. Oh, beautiful like work of art so much better when you just say something about like this man married his horse or something (laughs) like that you know yeah it's so subtle (laughs) with a bit of photoshop skills oh my god i mean yeah you get away with a lot can't you yeah yeah you go you go into take modern you take a few snaps on your phone of what the plaques look like match that font lay it out the same way bobby john just get the rough size rough size print it out that's all you need then just blue tack it over done chef's kiss yeah even better glue it over then he can't get it off (laughs) Is that it? I think so. Yeah. Yeah. So what do, you, with that. what do you think won or lost? Um, My love wasn't really... Wasn't a, really I'm going to be honest with you, Nick. There's a degree of sarcasm. What? In, in my love. Really? Yeah. Okay. I, I've got to say that passed me by mm. almost completely. But then I am very stupid. Mm. Um, My love was powerful. I liked your love. That yeah. brought me a lot of joy. Because when I first saw that clip on the internet, I was on my own and I laughed out loud on my own. And that's rare. Uh, I did a <laughs> like that almost. I did two laughs, so I'm actually going to say love because I really hate my hate, mm. and even when a hate is really really good, that might mean hate wins, but it means I hate it more. Yeah, and I really don't like it. At the end of the day, it's like, what do I want to muster more energy for? And mm. I will, I'm not there for someone blowing up a chicken in my back garden. No, I'm not there for but, a virtual outfit. But I am massively there for a Kim Jong Un picture <laughs> with a John Cena face. <laughs> Like I'm, I'm, Frame. I'm very much yes. yes. I'm very high up as well. <laughs> very high. I cannot stress uh, enough how good that way is. Way higher yeah. than pictures are meant to be hung. Mm. Way higher than that. Yeah, 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 yeah. So I think, I think it's love. I think it's love too. Yeah, mm. that's what happens when he's not around. Yeah, I think this often does. I'd actually maybe the archivist can tell us this, mm. but I think um, that nine times out of ten, when Chris Ray isn't here, love wins. Yeah, he brings a certain, um, je ne sais, hate to the table. <laughs>